Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, brewing with Amazon. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. But <laughs> you can thank CH over at Homebrew for Life for kind of getting my brain juices going and influencing my thought process to actually come up with this video and this series, actually. The series is backstage. I'm not gonna number the videos. I'm not gonna say one, two, three, four, five. It's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna put them in a playlist called backstage. I'm gonna cater to two different groups of people and a lot of those groups will be in the same group. Some will not be. Some may be in both groups later on, who knows? One will be for fellow home brewers or gal home brewers, however you wanna say it. And that will be, what do I do behind the scenes? You know, like, what am I storing my grains in? What am I using for this? How am I doing this? Things that I'm doing constantly, you know, maybe even things that I do all the time that I don't record. Cleaning, yeah, probably still won't record that. Maybe I'll give you little snapshots and yeah, I don't know how fun that will be to watch. Um, constantly doing yeast starters, even when I'm not brewing, just so I can maintain my yeast bank. Things like that. Things that I'm doing behind the scenes that other home brewing people can relate to. On the other side, my channel, Bitter Reality Brewing, is kind of an adolescent when it comes to YouTube and home brewers. It's not quite grown up and it's not quite, you know, just learning to crawl or walk. I've learned a lot in just over two years. There are much bigger channels. There are a great deal more small channels or channels that home brewers are either trying to get their feet wet, they're experimenting, they're just putting the videos out to put the videos out, or they're putting the videos out because they're trying to build a YouTube channel and they really enjoy home brewing. They're not gonna get rich doing it, I promise you that one. Trust me on that one. CH, homebrew for life, pretty much nailed it. Give you a good example. I made a little less than three grand last year and I spent well over four grand. Yeah, every time you make a little more, you spend even more. It's yeah, it's a rabbit hole, just like all home brewing. But I love home brewing. I do brew a little bit more since starting the channel than I did on my own. Although sometimes I would go nuts and have a bender for like a week where all I did was brew tons of little one gallons. It was insane. I mean, I'd be exhausted for days after brewing and have to go to work. So the people looking to start a YouTube channel or maybe they have a YouTube channel and I can help them learn from my mistakes to help them get where they need to be or where they may want to be. Or maybe I share information and they go, hey, you know, that is great, but this is better. You should check it out. I found this, I really like it, it does a great job. Sound, I struggled with sound so many times, so many times. The DJI mic, which yeah, I'll put a link down below, but oh, yeah, put it by my pillow, I love this thing. It just, I, I spent almost $700 on microphones and microphone accessories before I found this bad boy, and yeah, life-changing, definitely life-changing for the channel. Okay, let's get on with the main part of the show. Amazon Influencer Program. I found out about this when I was just under 2,000 subscribers and I kept applying and they kept saying, nope, no, go away, we don't want you. And I was like, oh. And as you know, I leave links down below on Amazon for certain things that I recommend and usually I've already purchased them. I mean, sometimes it makes more sense to buy things on Amazon than it does to buy it through a homebrew shop or wherever else you may want to get this stuff. Yeah, that's my gram. Don't even remember what they're called. Scale, yeah. Things like that. Or this thing. This thing I think is like 10 bucks now. And I probably paid 15, but it's my scale for weighing my grains, my hops. I've had this thing probably going on four years now. It's been beat to death and it just does a great job. And I think I've only changed the batteries like once. It's kind of, I got my ROI on this thing massively. So, and I do mean massively, <laughs> but I finally, at around 4,500 subscribers, Amazon says, hey, welcome to the influencer program. You can get into this program if, if you're a YouTuber, Instagram, Facebook, social media. If you're a social media person, eventually you qualify. Some of those programs are easier to qualify than others. YouTube seems about one of the hardest ones to get qualified for, but it is what it is. What I'm asking, from the viewers and especially the subscribers. Take a look at my new Amazon influencer website, homepage, shop, storefront, whatever you want to call it. Tell me what you think 
honest opinions, good, bad, whatever, things that you think I need to add, things you don't feel should be in there, or maybe there's a better product that should be in there. This is the shocker. About 90% of the stuff in that storefront, maybe as I've been adding a few more, maybe a hair under 90, but it's pretty close to 90% are things I've actually already bought that I actually got from my order history and linked, or maybe they quit show, shopping, selling that product, but they're selling that same product just I don't know why they relist things and they kill one, but needless to say, those are the same items that I own or have purchased and own and can share you a lot of personal information on. What they do with Amazon Influencer Program is that you can get paid sometimes little extra percentages or margins, things like that, which are nice. It's not going to cost you a dime more when you click on something and buy it, but it will throw me some chump change to help pay for all this crap. <laughs> now, understand. I shop my local homebrew shop, More Beer, Adventures in Home Brewing, Great Fermentation, and that's just to name a few. There's a few others out there I shop, maybe not as frequently as the ones I've just mentioned, but I do shop them. Now, the Amazon Influencer Program is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Bitter Reality Brewing, and I'll put that down in the description. But click on it, take a look, check it out, let me know. I created 23 different categories to help basically spread things out and organize things and make things easier to find. I have a feeling if you go in there, you're gonna find things that you didn't even know existed or things you didn't realize existed or maybe didn't think of the purpose of them, which I will be adding more descriptions to things on how I use them or what, why I bought that product. Because some of the things you look at and go, what the hell is he using that for? Like a soda stream. If you've seen some of my older videos, you know. I take the beer before it's carbonated and I can chill it, speed carbonate it and try it right then and there and not have to wait for it to be carbonated. So. There's certain things I use for certain reasons. And yeah, the other reason I go shopping at Amazon a lot for buying things is it's convenient. If it's something, you know, I'm not gonna say grains are a good deal because grains are always better at your local homebrew shop, almost always for price because you're not paying that additional shipping. Even if they have free shipping, you're paying for the shipping, trust me. Things like that, yeah, I know, more than I'll probably ever need, but Knox Gelatin, Scales, I just find that they're a lot more cost effective on Amazon. Things like glassware. Got a couple of these. Uh, just there's so many things I can get on Amazon that are convenient. Or sometimes it's something I could get on, say, more beer adventures and home brewing, great fermentations, but I only need that one or two items and I don't want to pay 60, 120, whatever it is I need to do to get free shipping. So instead, I'll get it on Amazon. It might cost me a hair more than buying it on the other site, but it's actually cheaper because I'm not having to either buy stuff I don't need or don't want right now that's gonna age that shouldn't, or you don't want to, or it's just a better value for me to get it now and get it that way and be done. Plus, not to mention, no offense, but most of the brew shops on the web don't fill the order and ship it quite as quickly as Amazon. So if you need it like in a couple days and you need it quick, that's usually gonna be your best bet. Not always, but usually your best bet. Thank you again. Don't forget, check out the website, Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Bitter Reality Brewing. Definitely appreciate everybody. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Let me know what you think about ideals or items, ideas or items that you feel I should be covering in backstage. And I'll see you about covering them. Thank you. Cheers.